<clears throat> Good morning everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please press that like button, please do subscribe. It's Tuesday morning, uh, nothing's changed here. Um, I can't go to the co-op because I can't use my bank card. Um, obviously what happened yesterday was absolutely upsetting and disgraceful and it shouldn't have happened. I'm talking about the stabbings in Stockport and that really did upset me. It upset me last night that somebody could actually stab uh, children. So I just, I left YouTube alone in the evening um i just couldn't comprehend how somebody could stab children i really couldn't and it is upsetting and it shouldn't have happened and um i think the government needs to have a, a have a think and really take a good look at what's going on in this world and it, it seems to be punishing the disabled and people that are poor, cutting benefits, cutting disability benefits, and it's not tackling the real issues, right? It's all right, people saying, like, they're sorry for what's happened afterwards, but it really shouldn't have happened in the first place. So... Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday and the news is just full of really scary stuff at the moment that shouldn't have happened. A BBC newsreader, um, Hugh Edwards, um, charged with possessing indecent images, a BBC newsreader. I mean we've had Jimmy Savile. And we've had other BBC people involved in, you know, really bad stuff, right? And a newsreader. It shouldn't happen. I mean, we watch the news, don't we? We watch BBC, right? And if BBC is full of, full of presenters that are... Well, some of them dangerous to children, to minors. Should it really be televising programmes? If they don't vet their presenters and newsreaders properly. Um, Up this morning, I'm just shocked at the state of the country. And just to go outside, you just wonder what is it? Is it safe out there? Is it safe anywhere? You're afraid to speak to a human being because you don't know, do you? Right. So, good morning. Um, I've still got no bank card. My prescription of citalopram which is depression tablets was not delivered yesterday my bank has obviously taken the money out but boots is probably saying they haven't got it so i'm going to have to phone boots the chemist again this morning to find out where my prescription tablets are. And for anyone that's suffering depression, they will know what depression feels like, even in, if you miss one tablet, right? And you suffer from severe depression. This just isn't acceptable. It's not. I'm being targeted and victimised because I am telling my story and speaking the truth. And it's not fair. Alexa, good morning. Good morning and happy International Day of Friendship. 
started by the United Nations to promote the idea that friendship between peoples, countries, cultures and individuals can inspire peace efforts and build bridges between communities. To celebrate, just say, let's be friends. Alexa, let's be friends. We get along pretty well, it's easy to tell. the time please good morning crystal it's 7 59 a.m alexa what's the date today it's tuesday the 30th of july alexa what's the weather outlook right now in rochester it's 18 degrees celsius with mostly sunny skies throughout the day you can expect more of the same with a high of 29 degrees and a low of 16 degrees. Alexa, what's the pollen count? Today, there'll be high levels of grass pollen. Levels of tree and ragweed pollen will be low. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What did one hat say to the other? You stay here, I'll go on ahead. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include Austrian-American actor, businessman, bodybuilder and politician Arnold Schwarzenegger, English professional golfer Justin Rose, American actress Lisa Kudrow, English-American film director, screenwriter and producer Christopher Nolan, and American actress Joey King. Right guys, obviously people in the know don't like me and they don't want me to read the newspapers. Because obviously, I'm not stupid. And I, I was awakened to what was going on in this country in 2006. And they tried to label me as insane. Mad. Right? Tried to fob me off, fob me under the carpet, fill me full of tablets and tell me I was mad. You can tell a lot of what's going on in this country is fake, fake, lies, rubbish. There's a lot of scaremongering going on as well, scaring the public, you know, scaring them so that they stay indoors and are frightened. That's what I believe anyway. Our food, our food is shrinking. We are being given inferior goods. Our food is shrinking. We aren't getting value for our money. They're cutting, they're cutting food right down in size. I don't know whether they're trying to make us all skinny. But, I mean, as I was saying yesterday, Crisps, that is a bag of crisps, right? Our children need to eat. We need to eat, right? That is a bag of crisps, right? If you compare that to a bag of 80s crisps, right? That is quarter of the size of a bag of 80s crisps. And these crisps, they aren't full. They're full of air. They're full of air. That is full of air. So that is not even... Maybe just half full of crisps. Not, we're not getting value for our money. We're not. The food tastes different. It tastes different. Uh, sweets are harder. Crisps are harder. I've cut my gums on some crisps. We are not getting value for our money. We are not getting... We are getting treated like shit, right? People that are working can't afford to feed their kids. You know, you're forced to get a job, and if you can only get a job as a cleaner, cleaners don't pay well. The money you pay for a cleaner doesn't pay well. You just get enough 
to pay your bills and have a tiny bit of money left to feed your kids. Politicians don't have to worry about feeding their kids. They don't have to worry about feeding their kids. Nor does the royal family have to worry about feeding their children. So who is targeted? Poor people, people on benefits, people that, that, that haven't got much money anyway to live on. So they take it out on the poor and the needy. Get back to work. Well, does a politician have to worry in their late, what, 50s, early 60s to have to go back to work and get a job? I was told when I was pregnant, six months pregnant, to go and get a job. And who's going to employ a six months old pregnant woman. I am tired of this. Tired of it. They want me, they want to take away my money, take away my rights, so I have to walk the streets either begging or perhaps they want me to pick up food scraps like the, that was left outside yesterday. And we all know that was done to me before in Gloucestershire in 2008, don't we? We all, I've been through that before. On my, on my phones, right, dating sites, I, I don't want to meet a bloke so he can pay for my dinner. I want some company. Company. If the bank had given me my PIN number, I would be able to go to the shop and get the newspaper and, and um, you know, maybe something to eat. But I can't. Right? And all in the meantime, I'm getting these dirty, disgusting messages. Right, what do you do for a living? Well, <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Do you think I'm happy living like this? Do you think a lot of the poor people, disabled and homeless people of Great Britain are happy getting up in the morning, you turn on the news, there's been stabbings, the government are targeting the disabled's benefits. I mean, really, I, I, I don't know what's going on. But when a fat politician, a fat politician, turns round and says he's going to cut benefits and disability benefits, then I just think this world's mad. It's crazy. It's just beyond belief. My channel has got very, very low views. And, and I, I know why. I know why. First of all, it's age restricted. And only reaches a certain amount of people. Right. TikTok is different. You can go on TikTok and get thousands of views, but it's you know what I mean. It's very hard to do a video, a serious video on TikTok. There, I mean, there's a criminal in America called Wade Wilson who murdered two women. He murdered two women, and he's got tattoos on his face. And he murdered women. And they're sensationalising this, this guy. They're turning him into some sort of uh, sex symbol. Because he's got these tattoos on his face. 
And they're scary. There's a Nazi symbol on his face. You see, the whole world is ruled by the devil at the moment. It's gone crazy. It's gone crazy. We are actually sens sensationalising, making a criminal that's murdered two women and turning him into a sex symbol. And when you hear what he did to those two women, really what he did to them was callous and cruel and nasty, they're turning him into a sex symbol. Apparently all the women fancy this murderer, a guy who killed women. And then you, you realise, no, no wonder, if we are sens sensationalising, and making criminals look sexy you can see what the hell's going on people are going to think oh god all the women fancy a murderer a criminal tiktok has got a very large um population of teenagers Teenagers from all around the world, teenagers, young people, and they're watching this guy that murdered two women. Uh, that you know, he's flashed up on the screen in his suits and his ties, and how he was allowed to wear suits and ties when he murdered two women. I shall never fucking know. I can't afford a suit and a tie. Who can afford a, a suit and a tie? Hundreds of pounds. So there you go. This is why the world is bad. It's bad. It's evil. We are making criminals into sex symbols. So again, a good person, a good person is boring. A good person is less attractive than someone who's bad. If we're going to make a change in this world, we need to be firm with our laws. We need to punish people for committing crimes, not sensationalising it, putting them in the newspapers and making them look like they're some kind of hero. We need to train the police, train the police in domestic violence, train the police to listen to people and not just come into, well, the amount of time the police have come into my flat and not taken me seriously at all. We need to help the disabled, help people that are addicted to drugs and drink not force them into work work when they haven't had proper treatment proper care and proper help because you're going to get more crime if you send a mentally ill person out to work that hasn't had proper treatment they are going to cause havoc I don't know who's running the country, but they're not doing a good job, are they? You need a person that understands that the ordinary common or garden member of the public, not rich, not maybe excessively poor, but just just know what it is like to be outside on the streets in 2024 old people don't i mean you are punishing people that don't deserve to be punished yet you cannot fucking put prisoners in prison because the prisoners are fucking full 
So you're sending disabled and people that really can't work back to work, but you are letting out prisoners into society that are dangerous. I have had enough, right? I've had enough, right? And if anyone keeps having goes at me anymore, I'm quite willing to go up to uh, number 10 Downing Street and have a word with anybody. If it's real. If you know what I mean. I'll have a conversation with somebody and tell them what the whole world needs doing to it while politicians are sat there over their excessively large lunches or having McDonald's brought in and stuff in their faces while there's homeless and starving in this country. See you later.